Hello friends and once again welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Amit and today we are going to see another case. Uh, in this use case, I am going to show you how you can add a new dimension member dynamically. The same example we did in the past using Groovy script. Today I am going to use a rather simple way of creating member on the fly. So let's see the requirement first. So I have a data form where I like to add new IT spending on the fly. Right. I want to enable my business users. They can add new IT spending on the fly or new damage member. I associate this business rule with the action menu. When you right click, you see an action menu called quick access. There I created another sub menu header called manage my data and new add new IT expense. When I hit the new add new IT expense, I can add new account IT expense account. For example, I like to add, uh, let's say wireless mouse, the cost of uh, new wireless mouse new hardware I hit the launch button and you see a new member would be added on the fly to a new member added on the fly right and the same you can see in a dimension member under total IT spend it is under account dimension so when you go to account dimension the new member you see over here uh, the member name is I put it in a total IT spending wireless mouse right this is done now how does this happen let's see this so in order to do this uh, the first step you create a user variable uh, where I'm going to create a member on the fly okay so step first rather you create an account I'm going to create new account damage member over here create account dimension member with dynamic tag Dining member creation tag as on. Uh, so there's an option when you go to dimension member properties, enable creating dimension member on the fly. There's an account dimension. I added a new member under parent called total IT spend. I mark this parent as dynamic. So I can enable for dynamic children. So this property tag it to do dynamic member creation tag or rather enable for dynamic member. So I enable it step one. Then I'm going to create a member on the fly. So then second step create a variable. Create variable with member type so i can create member open rules over here i already did that you can click on this open rule and uh, here you can create new variable go to variable designer section you can create a global variable or variable for a specific queue i want to create a variable for a specific queue and I'm going to create new variable over here. So give name some var it spending. And what type of it is? It's a member type. And then the bottom you can define which dimension is associated with account dimension. You can define uh, the value of it. Probably I can use level zero or relative functions. I'm going to use a relative function so that I make sure I'm going to create member only at level zero. So I use a relative function. Right. The first argument name of the dimension. So my parent member name is total IT spending. Total IT spend. You can search over here and directly put member. Both ways are possible. I'm going to put member directly over here. Go to search, select your member name. IT spend right and level zero member and if you wish you can put some default value I'm leaving a default value uh, new IT spending 
and under which parent you want this to be created. So I enable this member total ID spent as dynamic parent at the parent where you can create children dynamically select member name or you could select a variable as well search for this right so this is going to dynamic member parent save it and just make a note of the name of the variable variable name is it spending but this variable i'm going to refer into my business rule that this is step number third create new business rule then i'm going to associate this business rule with my data form so go to system create new rule i'm going to create under financial queue right click and create rule name whatever you like to give create new it spending i just append rule the name of my rule because i already have similar kind of rule exists and with this rule just tag this as this rule can create dynamic member on the fly and enable notification and the variable which we created in a step number second i would refer this variable over here variable name refer this variable this is called variable it spending this is the name of my variable save it save and validate you can do both together They're asking you to put some value put some sample member name uh, new spending one it spending make sure it doesn't exist right so your it is pending click ok validating and now we deploy this so hit the deploy button right again it is asking you to create a member Just give a sample value it is pending one deployment is going on and deployment done successfully now you can invoke this business rule directly or i want to invoke this business rule with my action menu right so i already created one action menu uh, under menu section action menu uh, action menu my name of my action menu is quick access in a similar fashion you can also create your action menu i created one action menu called quick access same we are going to refer over here where it is let's check okay or i'm going to create new one let it be all test variable and uh, i'm going to create a children under that first i create a menu header quick access And this is just a menu header under this i'm going to create another another member called application maintenance right this is also menu header and under this i'm going to create a child call create new it spending add new it spending label can have a space so i'm going to give a space over here what type of action it is it is business rule now this is going to run on my financial cube and select your business rule name so what is the name of your business rule let's check uh, create new it spending rule name of my business rule select from the list This is my business rule name, right? Hit the save button. So when I invoke this menu, the business rule is required to be likely to be run. Okay. Now we are, need to associate this business rule with my data form. So let's open data form and associate this 
this business rule directly you can attach or you can attach using you can attach using action menu so i'm going to attach using action menu uh, go to forms now you have got two choices this is my sample uh, data form expense test which i already created I have got two options. I can associate the business rule directly over here. Right? What is the name of my create new IQ spending rule? So it should be here. Right, this is your rule. You can directly attach as a rule option one alternatively you can associate via action menu this is the one exactly i did it so on the others i already have access one action menu i can select another action menu over here test variable that's an action menu we created save and now we test it so when you open this data form and you right click this action menu will open refresh right click quick access application maintenance and add new it spending okay i'm going to put an it spending like shared uh, cloud server access cloud server cost cloud server hosting cost hit the launch button a new member is likely to be created see cloud server hosting a new member created on the fly so that's it for today uh, should you have more questions please feel free to reach out to us our site is bsp thank you